Yo, what up? I know, I'm not really on the camera much, but, uh, got this new beanie. Just wanted to show it off. Rock it. I'd like to take a minute and thank each of you individually for subscribing. You guys rock. You're awesome. Thank you for giving me a reason to keep making these. Have a great day. Morning, folks. 8 a.m. Uh, 24 degrees. Wind chill feels like 16. Gotta love it. Uh, figured I'd wait till about 11 o'clock this morning to go out and mow, but it says it's gonna be 32 degrees at 11, so awesome. Sheesh, old girl barely wanted to start this morning. Better stop off and get her a new battery. Well, it's like 26 degrees, real feel of 16 or something with the wind chill, and the Cub Cadet ain't starting, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw the battery charger on it. So she still had some juice in her, lights turned on and everything, she just wouldn't turn over all the way, so hopefully throwing the battery charger on there for a few hours will fix that problem. The Suburban doesn't have heated seats, but we got these, and they work for ice fishing, so they'll work for driving. Well, she's fully charged, but still didn't start, so we're just going to go ahead, see if we can't. I don't even know if this has propane in it, honestly. I don't know. You gotta hold this button for like 30 seconds about. I haven't used it since last year. Alright, after 30 seconds, let go of the button. Oh, and it went out. Perfect. Alright, well we got it lit, so it's gonna start heating up the trailer for us. Maybe a warm engine will help turn it over. Close the door, that way it can stay nice and warm in there. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Here's one last look at my trailer before that falls over and burns it to the ground. We're reorganizing the house so I can't really find anything right now, but I found my sea foam. I think I might just have to go buy some ignition starter. Got the GoPro ready if we ever get out of here. 33 at 11.32. Trick I do with the backup camera when I park, when I pull in, I make sure. And then I'm like, ah. That's not good enough, and then you pull forward with it on the camera, and you're like, ah, perfect. We are at O'Reilly's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's Auto Parts. I told y'all it was perfect. And just like that, now we gotta race home to make sure the trailer's not on fire. Like, totally Gucci and not even on fire at all. I was gonna say, it's pretty warm in here. I stood up, I don't know why I was going to go film the little heater part, but, uh, yeah, nah, hey, it warmed up. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I didn't even have to open this yet. I got back and I just figured I'd give it a go. It had enough time to get warm and she started right up. Now i got a full can just in case for tomorrow. Eh, tomorrow I'll probably just put a space heater in here on an extension cord and let it go for an hour before I leave. We're just going to hit the off button. Just like that, she's off. The problem with the 46 gallon tank is even if you throw in 6 gallons, you're still on empty. It is super windy today, I'm getting pushed around. Only took till 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but it's finally 41 degrees. Well, we just hit the mow on that. Be back in uh, two weeks to do their leaves. Running around was interesting, I don't know if you guys can see it, but taking a tree down, I got a big pile. But we just hit turn around in the driveway, and we Gucci. You can see a bunch of pine needles, leaves hit the ground over there, leaves all over the ground over there. They're dropping. It's like they got so cold last night that they just just fell right off. They're like, no, nope, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm dying now. They said y'all can live for two more weeks. We out. Yeah, we're in a weird part of fall where like most of the leaves aren't even off the trees yet and some people are hitting me up to come do leaf cleanups and other people are just want me to wait till November like usual, mid November. Last year I was actually uh, doing snow jobs while it was snowing and it was 23 degrees and it sucked and all I had was a 21 inch push mower. 
and not even like one of the nice ones that I have now, like that costs four hundred dollars. It costs like two twenty. So just like a little rinky dink one, but got the job done. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, waiting for it to warm up before we go handle some mow, so we're gonna go do a snow removal quote. It's 8.50, I'm scheduled to meet them at 9, uh, 27 degrees. Uh, it's supposed to warm back up a little bit, but I'm thinking about doing an oil change to 10W30 for the fall in my lawnmower. I do not think they like my number at all. I told them 70. Now hear me out though. Their driveway could fit six cars, then they had a sidewalk, and they wanted me to shovel their patio in their backyard. So I mean, it ain't free. They only wanted it uh, removed if it was over two inches, and you know, I got clients that want it removed if it's a half inch, and they'll pay 40 bucks and I'm there for 10 minutes. So if I gotta come out for three inches of snow, do a six car driveway, shovel stairs, shovel a back patio, shovel back stairs and landing areas, and then also do a sidewalk, I mean, 70 bucks. That's with gas and tax included. I mean, I'm not a monster. Well. 34 at 1040, just grabbed us some uh, lunch. While I'm eating, I'm gonna go ahead and put a space heater inside my trailer and set that for an hour so everything can get nice and warm. McDonald's has some Halloween buckets. So we're going with the space heater approach today. Hi, um, we'll set it for one hour. Make sure we don't pinch the cord too much. Then we're just gonna close it and let it warm up. What up, what up? So we use this to film up another video for you guys. You'll be seeing that before you see this. The GoPro 10 is sick though. Thanks, Dad. Anyone want me to teach them how to make cheesecake? So we just did the last mow at this property. What I like about this property is their um, garden flower irrigation hose. So they just have to turn on the hose and it waters all everything. So, we do back there. There used to be a swing set here, but they got rid of it over the summer. You probably see that in one of the other videos. All that stuff just kind of grows, I don't know. It's all dead now. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get the steel BR800 this year. The weed eater's just gonna have to wait for its brother. I like when clients' neighbors are not headaches. Um, we're done mowing for the year over at that uh, two properties right by each other with the empty lot. But uh, I saw their neighbor outside working. I've talked to him before, so I just uh, pulled over and said, hey, have a good rest of your year, and uh, maybe I'll see you over the winter a few times to do snow removal. And he's like, oh, you're done for the year? That's crazy. And I was like, yeah, that's just leaf removal from here on out. And we just got talking, and 45 minutes later, I'm on my way. I don't know if it's just the older I get, or the busier I get, but uh, time is flying. So many green trees. I bet there's a story to that. Like Just like that, the mowing season is over. It was a crazy season. I learned a lot. I had a lot of fun. I can't wait till next year. I'm not putting the riding mower away yet. Still gotta aerate a few things and then uh, leaf removal and whatnot. I'll, everyone will technically get a last mow for that, but the grass really ain't growing. I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers. I started making these videos like two months ago and. I didn't expect anyone to watch. I was just really bored, you know, just hanging out by myself all day, basically. I mean, I had hired help sometimes, but not for the most part, and conversation was always lacking, so just thank you guys for uh, giving me a reason to continue doing these, and I look forward to creating more content for you guys. Well, that's all she wrote for this week. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers more bids and vids, and as always, have a great day.